Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're going to be looking at how to make a drill bit using the coil feature and pattern tool. Um, so as you can see it's uh, not quite a drill bit but it's it's most of the way there. So just to give you an idea of how you can use the coil tool to get the kind of model you're looking for. So let's get started and see how we do. To get started, uh, we're going to draw a sketch on the top plane. We're we'll going to create and do a cylinder, but I just prefer to do a sketch. So get the same thing done. Sketch, select the top plane, and I'm going to do a center diameter circle. Locate it at the origin and drag it out. I want a 10 millimeter circle. Enter. Um, now I'm going to extrude this up. Finish sketch first. Extrude, and I want this 120 millimeters. So there we've got the shaft of our drill bit, um, or the body. Now we need to put on the flutes and the cutting head. Uh, so to do the flutes, we're going to use the coil tool. That's uh, quite a handy tool. Uh, just bear in mind, this isn't going to be an exact drill bit. This is just to get an idea of what you can do with the coil feature. Uh, I'm going to go into create and coil. Now it's going to want me to select a face. So I'm just going to select this top face here and I'm going to locate that at the origin and drag it out to coincide with the circle diameter. Now this just gives you um, the coil diameter. I want two revolutions. We've got 11.25 millimeters. You can see that's going up. I actually want negative this. So I'm going to go negative 65. You can see that's going 65 millimeters down the body of the drill bit. And that red line is what it's cutting out. I want that to be 5 millimeters. So let's click OK. So there's, there's our drill bit, um, or half of it at least. You can see we're missing a few parts, so I'm going to repeat that pattern on the other side. So I'll go S, pattern, circular pattern, object type here, I'm going to select features. I'm going to our timeline and select that feature. Axis, I want this upright axis with the body. Okay, now we select our quantity. Two is what I want. That looks right, it's 180 degrees apart, equidistant. Okay, now if we have a look, we've got what looks like a drill bit without the cutting head. Front view there. I'm going to create a sketch on the front plane. Let me just zoom in here to the head. This top line there, I want to make that available for me to use. So I'm going to project, select that line. Okay. Now I'll select the line tool and I'm going to start here at the center point on this mid plane here. Just starting up there so that it doesn't try to snap to the center point of this line I just projected. I'll select up there, come down to the projected line. I'll draw another line now. Coming through there. Let's grab that line and there we go. So what we've done here, we've created a basic sort of a cutter. So when I revolve that, it's going to cut away all the material that is sort of in the way of that cutter. I'm just going to dimension this here. It's a 60 degree cutting angle. So we've got 90 and then the 60 is between the horizontal and that from the bottom. So that's 90 plus, what's that, 30. So we want 120 degrees. So there's 120 degrees, click OK or finish sketch. Now we select the revolve tool over there. That face is already selected. Axis, I'll select this upright. And we can see there it's cutting nicely through the whole thing. Just zoom out a bit. And that looks like a drill bit. Just one more finishing touch I want to add. 
like I said, this isn't exactly like a drill bit. You can see the cutting head doesn't have quite the right shape, but close enough for our purposes. I'm going to select the fillet tool, select this line here, and we'll go with four millimeters. You see, it just brings that down a bit there, so it's not just a sheer stop. I'll do that again with this side, also four millimeters. And there we go, that's our drill bit. So there's our drill bit. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Maybe leave a comment if there's something you'd like to see me do. Until next time, thanks for watching.